what is up everyone it is rich all right welcome to a video this is impromptu but prompt to no i don't know that probably doesn't even make sense i'm almost sure that it doesn't uh the jay anacleto video did so well and honestly i'm not happy for myself i'm happy for jay anacleto the fact that that many people were interested in his work i thought was really really cool so it got the wheels turning and i started thinking about uh people had recommended other artists and, um, you know, I honestly, my main focus right now is Patreon. It, it's, I was going to plug Patreon anyway, but that's what I'm into right now. I'm into creating the most kick-ass educational platform for learning to basically draw, draw and illustrate that I can provide. Um, right now it focuses more on drawing than inking, but I will be doing inking videos and there's plenty up there if you've never been to my Patreon to check out. But anyway, um, I started thinking about like, uh, art that I see online that knocks my socks off consistently and Ricardo Federici or F Federici, uh, I think it's Federici, um, is one of those artists that I follow on Instagram who not only shows tons and tons of process shots of his work but the guy is so freaking good every single friend of mine that didn't know his work that i've ever like gone like you got to follow this guy it's gonna like it, it <laughs> it'll you'll love it but it's gonna like kill you too because he's so freaking good so let's have some fun and look at some ricardo federici i will have links to his social media he is on art station he is on instagram and he may be other places he is a sequential artist which is very very exciting he does beautiful beautiful illustrated covers but it is really fun to see people that can do stories that's a it's it's just there's a, be a beauty to layouts panel to panel that that um I don't know. It's just awesome. Uh, and then what else was I going to say? There was one other thing before I get into it. Is um... Oh, it escapes me now. I don't remember. I'll, if I think of it, I'll let you know. But yeah, so let's have some fun and check out his work. I'm in Clip Studio. All of these images are off of his Instagram. Um, I use kind of like a down album app on Chrome, like in the Chrome store. And uh, the only rub with it is is they're, they're uh, an encoded JPEG that will not open in Photoshop, and they won't open in older versions of uh, Manga Studio, when it was called Manga Studio. Clip Studio will open them in batches, but um, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. The only way to open in Photoshop is you have to save them in Clip Studio as a JPEG again, and then you can open them in another program. They will open in Paint and some picture viewers, but uh, yeah, it's a weird thing. I don't know what, what uh, Instagram does to do that, but kind of sucks this is a beautiful piece but we've got a ton of art to look at so let's keep rolling what i one thing that i do love on this though oh never mind i'll be able to point out other pieces look at this this guy freaking paints over pencils it's a freaking madman it's like i would be so scared i like he does the most beautiful pencil drawings and then he's got the the balls <laughs> to paint over it if he screws up this thing is toast if Ricardo doesn't screw up, and if he does, he 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 uh, doesn't let me know. Look at this. I love you've got the bone. I mean, it really looks like bone textured, and I'm I'm like I'm sounding like I'm fake excited, but but uh, I've never really done a deep dive on this guy's stuff before, so this is gonna be very very um, interesting. But do you see that this looks like bone? This looks literally like bone, and the muscle is actually really beautifully done too. But that is nuts. It's really got the texture of bone. You don't see that often. You'll see people do nice looking skulls. Oh, he went to the next level. He's he's one of those guys to me that you just go like, how does a human learn to draw this good? <laughs> it's such a like a virtuosic um, level of skill. It's just nuts. This he's freaking painting on like. I, the rough this isn't even as tight as some of his pencils are like like that's like you really have to know what you're gonna put here because you start putting shadows on the loincloth and weird spots and man it's gonna look funky but yeah I, on my patreon i have like three different tiers of um content that i'm creating for people not tiers tiers just mean levels of complexity but i'm doing stuff for people that are just learning to draw I'm, i have intermediate videos and i'm gonna have advanced videos so uh it's really really exciting it's incredibly challenging for me um because i'm i'm not a real teacher 
<laughs> I'm just making it up as I go, friends. No, that's not true. I I um, am not a real teacher. That is true. But uh, I, I work very, very hard at what I'm doing. And uh, I'm constantly trying to learn. So I'm able to pass it along. And then I've had enough uh, bad mistakes that I can show you what to avoid. Man, this is crazy. So I don't know on a piece like this if if uh, i would assume that he's going to paint this i very very rarely have seen his work not finished that way so i mean this is a lot of work to put into an underdrawing that you're just going to paint he's excellent with forms i mean he's really really got it all he does nice drapery his costuming is on point um you know It's like a detail. Yeah, there's a small handful of people that I follow on Instagram that, like, when you see their new stuff, you're just like, God dang, does this person ever not draw anything that looks amazing? Because if they do, I didn't see that post. <laughs> These are great little studies. Blue Beetle? Is this the Blue Beetle? Holy cow. This is a crazy, crazy looking version of him. It's funny. So our initials are the same, RF. I've actually, I ha I've had in the past a signature that looked a little bit like that. I didn't do the pointy thing right there, though, for the R. But uh, interesting. <laughs> it's only so many things you can do with that letter. They both face the same direction. It's kind of annoying. I thought this was interesting only because of the colors of the cape. I, I, I think that it's it's like he's got this beautiful blue. And then this is interesting that it's like a violet color. Um, I think what it is is that he's got like, do you see this is the inside of the cape? The inside of the cape is like a slightly different color and it's like folded over. I think that's what's going on there. It's interesting. This is all really nice. I have the lighting on his uh, bracer gauntlet. I don't know what you call those. It's kind of distorted, like he took it at a weird angle. He, like I said, he does graphic novels. I tried to grab sequential stuff, so I didn't want to get a ton of pinups. I mean, pinups are fun, but I mean, I don't know. So many people want to learn how to draw um, pages. I think this is such an exciting time for comics. There's like crazy shit going on just in the world in general. And then in the comic world on top of it. But I also think that, that it, it, at times like this, great things uh, happen. <laughs> you got to ride it like a wave. Like a, like a master. That is really cool. Nice chunks of hair. Nice dynamic pose. Her feet are trippy. I'm assuming... I don't know. Is that Mara? Oops, sorry. I wrote on it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to shut it anyway. I don't know, maybe Mara has webbed toes. Wow, look at that. Holy cow. Damn. There might be more whips of this. I mean, like, I mean, I would just recommend follow this guy on Instagram and go through his gallery, too. Because um, generally speaking, he does show works in progress of just about everything he does, and lots of them, too. So you can really, really get a sense of his process. This is really, really nicely done. That's cool, too. It's interesting because my guess is that he's working a little bit from dark to light because he could easily pop out those teeth like later. Just take a hotter color and start to to bring them up in the mix if he needs to. We'll see if there's a more finished things. This is the fake hand that I talk about. This will get you more likes on your pages, uh, on your posts. Do this. <laughs> People are like, what are you talking about? You have to watch some of my other videos. I was, it was uh, one of my Comic-Con videos. I talked about that I did an experiment where I put my hand in the picture holding tools. I wanted to make it more and more ridiculous. I didn't do that, though, because I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> Hold like a fish. <laughs> Breadstick. And, and look at how much detail he puts. I wouldn't even know. Well, I mean, I could figure it out, but I like honestly, like I wouldn't even really know how to ink something like that. I I guess you would just spend a lot of time cross hatching. It's hard for me to tell a little bit what it is. Looks like maybe they're in a cave. Maybe it's like an underwater cave. 
and it's kind of corally that that almost like volcanic rock sort of texture a little bit interesting so i don't know oh maybe they colored some of his work from pencils so you know it's a legitimate question what do you guys think of of art colored over pencils digitally colored over pencils are you a fan are you not a fan if you're an artist would you get your work done that way it's you know it's one of those things i would say that it's not polarizing but a lot of people don't like it i'm of the mindset that if if i look at the two together and my first thought isn't oh hey that's digital pencils or digital colors over pencils then you did it right if i notice because i don't pay attention to that stuff um then you've pulled me out of the moment so and I've used this example before, but I actually did have someone show me a comic book one time. And they said, what do you think of this? And I looked at it and I was like, it looks really, really cool. They're like, yeah, but it's not inked. And it was like, it was the furthest thing from my mind because just the art looks so nice. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, that was like kind of the moment that I went, you know what? If it looks good, it looks good. What what does it matter how, how uh, it got there? But... If you start to see technique over the finished piece, it was interesting. I was watching something yesterday, and they were talking about that. Like, like when you get really good at drawing, really, it should just be a moment, and then you can step back and enjoy the techniques that were used to maybe create it. And again, that's probably more of an artist thing. Although fans of art do get into that too. But um, yeah, I mean, if you immediately look at a piece and it just looks like it's riddled with um, sort of effort and technique, you might have missed the moment. But it's a subtle thing. I mean, it's it's a very advanced uh, level of drawing that you will get to. But people do it fast. That's the thing, you know. Most people that get really good at drawing will do it in about five to six years. If once they turn professional, it, it usually will go pretty fast. You know, the first year or two, you're kind of cutting your teeth, take your lumps. You're pulled out of your comfort zone again and again and again. And the cream just rises up from that, like this guy. He just rises up. It's got a little bit of a. Um, I'm trying to think of who the artist is. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of a Zafino son. Just a tiny bit, not not like literally, but I, I knew it just had a thing. Man, he's really good with anatomy. <laughs> That's super cool. It really, man when you're when you're learning anatomy or teaching anatomy it is funny because you know you you the 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 idea is is that anatomy attaches to bone and he really when he draws stuff like this you really get a sense of that very very cool it was funny because as i was pulling out these files for this guy's stuff i was just like man i could so easily do like an hour of this but i can't do that long of a video today i've got more lessons to do so i need to get to that but I've already done like two hours of lessons this morning, and then I'm going to finish that and draw my own stuff. <coughs> Venom. Always interesting to see how people handle Venom. I did a thing. I, I was breaking down Greg Capullo's art this morning for Patreon, and uh, there was a, a cr creature that Greg had drawn, and I was talking about like... Uh, Placement of shoulders on monsters is very, very important, and the and the the like the twist of the body that you use with it, because monsters don't stand and pose for you, so you really have to make the monsters pose, even if the head, because this could easily turn into, um, I had jokingly called it like the school portrait, but you know what I mean, like like if you all of a sudden have Venom sort of standing upright, like this kind of a shot. It's not very monstery, you know what I mean? Like, it could still be a solid drawing, but it's not gonna, like, it's not gonna terrify people. He turned everything in the drawing at such an extreme angle, even though the head position is, you know, something that you, you would see more common, you know? I mean, it's not like the wildest angle of this, but this, 
really, really makes it exciting. So. It's funny seeing his signature. I never really put that together. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's funny because this almost reminds me of Finch's Aphrodite 9 pencils a little bit. Or even Stephen Platt when he did Soul Saga. Just a little. Like this in particular. Or it's probably somewhat based on like a real building. Wow, this is crazy. It looks like Batman, but he's kind of Cthulhu'd out. That's interesting. Still really, really, like the kneecap, the muscles, it's all really, really cool. That's cool too. I like how he's got the crunch of this. Ruff. RF. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh man, check that out. Interesting. See, you know, and this is another thing too. I like um Jim Lee has Twitch streamed on and off for quite a while, and um David Finch now is doing his YouTube channel and stuff like that. You see how when an artist is really proficient at drawing in, say, two hours, one to three hours, they can really do like a beautiful piece that, that you know, cover quality image, pin up quality image really, really quickly. I'm not saying that this piece, it reminded me of that kind of thing, though, but it's like when we're learning and we see something like this, we go, God, like, I would love to be able to draw, draw stuff like that or paint stuff like that. But what you realize is, is, is you get more experience and you've done more pieces and you've, you've, you know, experimented and had your failures. Um, you know, within three hours, you can actually do some really, really badass stuff. There's no doubt in my mind that, that Finch could probably do most of his, at least comic book covers in three, three to eight hours, you know? I think maybe occasionally like uh, layouts and ideas like you know maybe you push yourself and want to do something that you haven't done but wouldn't surprise me and the same with Jim I mean I would say it, it looks to me that within three to five hours he do, he could do just about any page which is crazy you know but this guy's probably the same way uh, he puts a lot of detail though that's where where the hours go oh, that's cool Oh man, look at that. Yeah, pencils. Damn, dude, he really renders the crap out of it. And someone had mentioned Louis LaRosa. I have done at least one Louis LaRosa video. In fact, I think I've done two. I think I did two back to back. It was so good. Um, Might have been for Patreon. I don't remember, honestly. Um, it all starts to blur. Um, and then uh, Miko, people had asked about Miko. Miko was the other artist that I was trying to think of when I was shooting the video. I'll definitely do a Miko video. I think that'll be interesting because I don't know his work real well, but I do follow him. And whenever I see it, I'm always like, whoa, man, that guy is crazy. So I thought it would be fun. Let's we'll, we'll look at some of the illustrative comic book artists and then we'll bring it back around and we'll, make, we'll kind of flip the coin and do a 180 and look at um, uh, maybe someone like Sean Galloway or... or um, I think I did a video on Scotty Young before, but something like that. You know, we'll we'll have the pendulum go the other way. But I thought it would be fun for a little bit to just look at these guys that are um, guys and girls that are really really detailed and you know approach it almost in like an illustrative fine art way. It's kind of cool. God dang, <laughs> Crosshatch City, right? That is so crazy. He really is into this. Because <laughs> he knows it equals likes. <laughs> That's a pro tip. I, I actually have given that as a pro tip. <laughs> oh, man. Life is funny, right? 
the fact that that will actually get you more likes on a piece is very it's just weird to me humans what's wrong with us this is interesting i don't know if i have ever seen this character which could be embarrassing because maybe he's really popular it's bat flash he, he, who laughs bat flash who laughs i don't know <laughs> put some spikes on him right and then he'll be that character <laughs> people are like screw this guy he's a dick <laughs> I always laugh like um, I try not to give attention to people that thumbs down video thumb thumbs down videos because it's like whatever every video will always eventually get like a thumbs down but I have I have someone who will thumbs down my video who has remorse and then they remove it and it's like I always like to have imagined that they're they were drunk and they watched the video and they're like I hate him I hate his channel I hate the art he shows and then they they thumbs down and then in the morning they're like sorry Rich. <laughs> I'll take it back. If you thumbs it down, just leave it. It's fine. In fact, YouTube rewards me for it. <laughs> the sad thing, I, I was going to actually bring this up. It, it, it really is. It's crazy how, like, if you just l literally have a, a title of your video that is, like, somewhat negative or, or could be taken as, like, some sort of drama that you're about to address. This is not this is not a viewer thing. This is a YouTube thing. YouTube definitely bumps those up in their algorithm. There's no doubt in my mind that when you put s drama in your title, that they will actually share those videos more, which is kind of sad. But um, I've I've seen a couple of channels in particular that I follow that get you know 200, 300 views a video, and they had two videos that they posted that were um, more you know polarizing like titles, and I mean they got literally thousands and thousands of views. And again, it's 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 they don't have that many people that follow their channel that it would go that crazy. So it's kind of funny that that uh, you can bump your views up that way I, I'm not personally going to go that route that is really really fucking cool but it is what it is it's life in the city <laughs> damn that is so crazy this guy has really put a lot of miles on himself in terms of drawing oh, here's some of the sequential stuff this is kind of the first stuff that I saw of his that's really good. That's super crazy. That guy's head's like stitched together. He looks a little like Mobius. It's funny. <clears throat> wow, look at that. This almost has a little bit of a, um, uh, what is his name? Wayne Barlow kind of vibe. Which I've done a video on Wayne Barlow if you haven't seen it. Or also Beck, Becksinski. A little bit in there. Really, really nice. God, that is beautiful, beautiful. It's like the Frazetta, Beksinski, Bisley kind of has sometimes that vibe in his stuff. That is really nice. Man, that is great looking stuff. And again, I mean, the amount of confidence that it takes to go in on such a nice pencil drawing and paint over it like this is incredible. It really is. For that, you deserve to put your hand in the picture like you're working. is really cool too i think i did jim murray batman demon if you haven't ever seen jim murray's batman demon book i would highly recommend it he's very very good <laughs> this is kind of funny i was like is this guy giving a middle finger it's kind of weird He's got to be flipping off. It's very weird. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means in the piece. Oh, here we go. Man, that is really crazy. Looks like a fun story. Oh, look at this. Dude, the stairs. Man, that is so cool. This is magic. Man, this little area right here. That's my favorite part of the piece for sure. That's really, really neat. Looks like something out of like a really good video game. 
Wow, look at that. Kind of Corbin-esque. Really, really cool. I like the, the paper is like a trippy color. Like he put some sort of burnt sienna kind of wash over the pencils as his base color. Looks really cool. Man, he paints good. Like, look at that. That's really, really nice. And it's crazy, too, because you see, like, the veins underneath the flesh. This guy is legit, man. And this is crazy, too. Yeah. He's no joke. God dang. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the stitch stitch head guy. That's really cool. Absolutely incredible. He is a hard work. We're gonna open a few more. I wanna look at a little bit more. We'll do it. That's cool. All right, file. Open. All right, let's. Just I want to. I want to do stuff that's like a little more insane. So let's grab. Let's grab this batch, and I'll grab one more. See, I knew this was going to be a long video. Damn you, Rich! This is what you or uh, Clip does when I try to open these files. It's like it always taxes it for a second. It's all right. It'll open in a minute. I was getting impatient when I would do it before. Oh man, that's nice. All right, let's do one more little batch. Again, you can see all this on his Instagram, so you'll be good to go. Let's check out this little batch of stuff. This, 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 and this too. <laughs> all right, friends, let's give it a second. Look, his hand. It's like he's taunting us with it now. He's like, I know, I know that you know the secret, Rich. <laughs> the hand doesn't lie. If he did one with a Cheeto, I would laugh so hard. There was a, in the old guitar magazines, like the big thing was always that like you'd have like an insane stretch, like where you could reach from a certain fret to another fret. And then they would make fun of that too. This is really good. It's interesting seeing his weaponry compared to Anacleto. Anacleto actually does more ornate and more detailed, um, Weaponry. He's really, really good at that, and seems to have a real passion for it. This stuff is all very nice too, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It'll be fun as we go through um, Miko. Oh, and Mike Butt Buttkiss was another um, one that uh, we're gonna do. I think his name's Mike. Mike Buttkiss. He's really, really good. I follow him too. Um, these, these are nice. Damn. <laughs> Thing looks pissed. It's really, really interesting seeing different artists work. Everyone's a little different, you know? There's another guy that I follow, Olivier Vat, not, not Vatine, that, that's, that is an artist, uh, uh, Secher, Secker. He drew the Meta Baron books. Um, he kind of draws like this. He's got a little bit of Travis in his stuff, a little Juan Jimenez. He's really, really good. Valentin Secker, I think is his name. He's really good. This is, god damn, this guy can draw. Look at this. That dude is awesome. And these are nice, too. Uh, what's funny is, I, when I did the Comic-Con art review tour, and we were looking at um, the different artists, it was, it was really interesting seeing the figure drawing ability of all the different pencilers, you know, like... Each one would handle anatomy differently, but this guy's really got like quite, uh, quite realistic anatomy that he uses. It's pretty, pretty nuts. Okay, we can see him that way. It's nice. 
and his stuff is pretty tight like th these to me are very very tight pencils um his his the way that he renders stuff is is scratchy but um if you really look around he doesn't really like um it's not suggestive like a mark silvestri i mean that's an extreme example because mark can get very but but uh if you notice like all of his lines are really connected like he broke it up a little bit here but he he does like line, linearly draw everything everything is an outline <clears throat> um so it's it's you know pretty locked in just the the finish is more um vibrant damn look at this holy shit <laughs> what the fuck oh my god wow fuck man jesus christ that is crazy i love concept art like this oh my god like uh, this is gonna send me over the edge <laughs> I love the color palette on this too. He's got just a little bit of like kind of real blue and a little bit of red right there, but everything else is like that almost uh, really earthy, earthy tones. Damn. It's weird. It's like Star Wars and Planet of the Apes. <laughs> it looks like those really mean, um, like the, the mean monkeys in Planet of the Apes. And then they look, they have a little bit of like a empire. Kind of think wow look at this another artist i really liked which it, this made me think of it he doesn't draw like this guy but um if you haven't followed uh, i think brian brown is his name he's a really really good like digital painter i'm, I'm very uh, very into his stuff i think he's great so dude there's so many good artists i swear who i i never ever in a million years thought my youtube channel would be doing this kind of stuff but it's actually fun for me and i would never ever do this on my own i enjoy like 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 is an example like i enjoy seeing this guy's stuff on instagram the days that it pops up in my feed but i've never gone through and looked through like a ton of his art like this and especially on the computer where we can zoom in and actually sort of like look at it so it's a you know it's kind of a win-win i i do think that the youtube channel actually does send people the direction of these artists and it, it's selling books for people i get that all the time that it was like you know I, I went and bought you know comics or an art book or multiple art books of the artists that you recommend so it's it's i think everybody kind of wins from it and it's good for me it's good for me to look at art and and see different things so that's good Wow, that's really cool. This is a very, very interesting book. I'm going to have to seek this out. I, I would love to read this. Damn. Oh, that's really cool. I will get back to doing the um, the manga stuff, too, because I know people seem to really enjoy that. I um, It made me a little nervous doing videos of it because I, I don't know the material that well. And, I mean, granted, I can make that very apparent and... and be honest about it when I do the videos but um you know it's just it's it's like I don't want to try to represent something that I'm clueless about so I felt weird you know it's like oh here's another one that I've never read let's look at this I mean I guess that works sort of but I guess and it's similar to like a reaction video it's like I've never heard Led Zeppelin <laughs> reaction to stairway to heaven like right no one's heard that freaking song it doesn't matter if you're seven or 700 oh wow this is cool wow look at all the different colored bricks or at least the base colors he probably glazes over it and then they blend and look a little more like this but you can see he's keeping the value range very very similar in fact watch i can show you little tricks that i show people oh i don't know what the sample rate is on this doing that's weird what in the world this doesn't even look like the accurate colors this is pro oh if i was in photoshop i'd be able to do more accurately i'm not sure what the pixel rate is it may be literally just selecting one pixel i usually will go like 11 by 11 pixels or 15 by 15 this looks like it's literally whatever like if you zoomed in and saw the exact pixel that i'm grabbing that's the color that's doing because there's different colors going on here i was going to show the value range of them what the fuck is it doing i 
hold on. Now I'm curious. I'm going to grab a blue pixel or a blue-ish pixel and we'll see if it... Am I on? Oh, maybe the mapping pen doesn't... Uh, let me try the brush. Brush. Uh, whatever. Basic Bob. Maybe it's not blue. Is it like an optical illusion? It looked a little blue to me. Oh, okay. I guess it's it's kind of everything is oh, okay. That time it did select the color, but yeah, the value range of all these colors is very very similar. Meaning that like he's not going darker, and so you can get away with really putting any color of the rainbow in here as long as it's the same value of like lightness. So you know what I mean. Like if you were digitally working. Anything in this range is fine because it's staying in the the chroma. Or I don't even know if that would be the right word, but like these are all the same exact value. They may look darker or lighter. Some colors will read actually, but yeah, I mean, you you could have that everywhere. And then if you put a glaze of really light orange over it, I don't know if this is on multiply or not, but they'll they'll blend really nicely. You know, then you'll just have this very subtle sort of thing going on underneath. But that works traditionally or digitally. Okay, we've seen this piece a few times. Oh wow, interesting. The monster ended up actually looking pretty cool colored. I like he does he makes the teeth really dirty. This guy's arm is killer. This is nice too. I actually like the little like the little hot spot. Do you see how sparingly he uses his hot spots? He's ba basically got just you know, maybe a few. One right there, there there and there but he doesn't go silly with it <clears throat> and then as things go further back into the scene he's not using that po the popping lighting he did it right here but honestly part of it was to highlight that weapon and then also move it in front of this creature so it was a smart move because you see that how that knife pops and we want to see those blades it's interesting because he, he, he kind of did it here too. If you see, this is a little bit brighter. So you can go dark light, dark light, dark light and move stuff through. I was I actually did a lesson the other day and a guy was using a lot of value. And uh, that was my recommendation is if you're going to have tiers of detail that you can sort of rotate dark to light and it'll make things separate. This is really cool. It looks like a huge orangutan that's got like a cybernetic eye. Oh, it's actually the face is that way. Maybe it looks like a huge spider. I don't know what that is. It's creepy though. I like it. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Dude, that's so Corbin. Look at that up there. Wow. Whoo. Wow, that is ferocious. <laughs> hey, you know what it was interesting is I wasn't going to point it out. His anatomy up here got a little bit weird. Like the way that he lit this muscle, it really is starting to look unusual. This pulls forward a lot and then it kind of recedes, but it's not like it's not super duper noticeable, but it's a little bit looks a little tiny bit weird. But the her back looks weird too. This is kind of like a little weird but he he could keep going over it and totally make that stuff not a lot there's so many great parts going on but yeah it's funny but like this looks a little weird too which is unusual for him he doesn't he, <laughs> I don't, I've never really seen him slip up on anything oh he's quite tall oh the piece is finished though look it's on the pole interesting damn the dude is freaking big it could be Buckethead. <laughs> Buckethead 6'6". Six, six. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge, huge Buckethead fan. He's done more than Jordan. <laughs> People are like, what? What are you talking about, Rich? Oh, did he sketch on this? Oh, man. Okay. Wow. That's nuts. And it, actually, if you look right here, do you see this? This is a little more mellow here. He, this, this looks a little more accurate. Um... But yeah, like when he when he painted it, it got a little dark. Even her back muscles actually look a little more mellow. It's a lot of pressure painting it on a pole at a Comic Con. So, man, it's a beautiful drawing though, dude. 
Did someone steal the poll after Comic Con? Look at this. Man, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, this video is way longer than I want it to be. Damn. That's <clears throat> crazy. That's really cool right there. Okay, we gotta start hustling. That is awesome. That's a great, great Frank Castle. Go, Punisher, go! Yeah, he's really good. I'm just soaking it in. Do you think he inked it with this pen? Like a ballpoint? Maybe. He, some of the other pieces, look what he did. Wow! Okay, so I don't think he inked it. So that, that photo was a lie. <laughs> He's just grabbing stuff around the office and it's like scissors. Man, that's pretty cool. Yep. Now he's got the pencil. Man. <clears throat> I'm guessing this dude draws a lot. His day is spent doing lots and lots of drawing. Anatomy men. Oh, that was a pencil. Okay, it looked like a pen. I think that was the same tool. This is cool. His expression's funny. Oh, man, look at that. That's cool. <clears throat> he doesn't really show, like, any photo reference. I would assume at times that he must be using some, but it doesn't look like it's, like, all over his work. But uh, some artists will share the process, some don't. Um, look, it's never a bad idea if you're not sure how to draw something to use reference, and then depending on how accurate you want it to be the, to the reference, that's kind of your style, you know? Are you going to be real stylized and just use it as sort of like placement, or are you going to literally go in and try to, you know, reproduce it? It's, you know, the artist struggle. This has almost got a little bit of a Barry Windsor Smith feel. Right in here. Oh, I'm like, brush? What is going on? Oh, <laughs> I just spritzed him. Pen. That area looks a little like Barry Windsor Smith. This is really cool too. <laughs> I know uh, someone had said that like uh, you can't see the pointer on certain things, and so like I point a lot of times with the um, tablet. Man, this is really cool right here. Boy, that is ferocious. The Lord of the Rings movies, the orcs and stuff like that are really, really good reference for creepy monster faces. If you've ever, you need a good snarling monster and their bodies and stuff, that's really, really cool too. God dang, this guy is so good. And as we already know, this crazy guy, he's going to paint over this. Like, how do you do that much rendering and then paint over it? That is nuts. He has... The cajones of the toro. <laughs> so yeah, that's his pencil. Or at least one of them that he uses. Well, this was really fun. Oh, wow. Look at that underdrawing. So yeah, we're going to wrap this video up. Definitely follow Ricardo. And, um, you know, support his work. If you like it, you definitely won't be bummed out, like getting little doses of his work in your uh, Instagram feed. That is for sure. All right. Have a great day. Thank you so much for all your support on YouTube. And uh, please check out my Patreon. I'm telling you, it's, this is the last month I'm doing the dollar uh, all access tier. So take advantage of it and go check it out. There's uh, honestly pr probably 450 videos that you could go through. You'll have a lot of fun. And at the very least... You'll have a very um, uh, educational month. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye.